What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to the first ever flashback or rather welcome to the first ever flashback of FIFA 20. The new card design that was leaked is real. It looks pretty nuts. It is 85 Theo Walcott, which if I remember is actually his Arsenal card from FIFA 17 foot champions or, or like the inform from FIFA 17. Uh, I had this as one of my red informs from a foot champions week. So flashback Theo Walcott is there in store let's have a look at this the card now three star three star last year i'd have been like nah this is dead but this year because of how good three star skill moves are now this is actually not bad at all and he's got great pace very high dribbling good shooting and good passing with decent stamina for this stage of the game there is three segments needed so it might be an expensive one before we get into completing the i just want to have a look on season objectives to see if there's anything so daily objectives and that's it. See, see, I would love to see something here for like put a flashback milestone in, put a flashback season objectives in. Um, however, not to not to complain too much, we do have Theo Walcott flashback, and let's see how much he's going to be. So, an 83 rated squad with a Southampton, Arsenal, and Everton player, but only 70 chemistry, and that gives a premium mixed players pack. Unlucky. Uh, one team of the week with an 83 rated squad, 75 chemistry for a small rare gold players pack. And an 85-rated squad with two England players for a rare election players pack. That 85-rated squad with two England players is probably going to come in quite expensive because there aren't many high-rated England players that work. Um, so what's going to happen is you're going to have to end up putting in some of the like the 83s. Maybe uh, maybe Deli Ali. I don't know how much he is. Let's have a look at uh, Deli Ali. If not, we'll pop. Oh, actually, I don't want to use Pickford for this because I want to use Pickford for. The other, the other one. So let's just have a look. He might be untradeable for me. He's not. So yeah, Deli Ali is worth way too much to pop in there. So we'll pop in Harry Maguire, and we'll pop in uh, Jordan Henderson, and then it needs to be an 85 rated squad. So what I'm going to do first of all is just have a look at what Premier League players we've got um, that are nice and cheap. What do we got here? Socrates is okay for price, but not high enough rated really. But we will take him because as a centre-back, he'll just work. If we take a few of the 84s, actually. Gundogan, nice and cheap. Uh, Rui Patricio, we can take nice and cheap. Uh, and Sigurdsson, we can take nice and cheap. And we'll just pop these guys in uh, nice and easily here. Now, we need 80 chemistry for this one. Um, we can pop him in there. So we're already up to 60 chemistry. Now it's more about just getting some higher rated cards in that aren't from the Premier League. But I'm so glad, guys, that we see our first flashbacks. You know what? Cavani can go in for an 88 rated card. He is super, super cheap. Let me go to the French League and have a look at what other cards we've got going on. Uh, any? I think maybe I've got a Verratti as well that I can use. Yeah, Verratti uh, can go in for sure. Idrissa Gay and Lopez can go in for sure as well. Um, and... Uh, Kind of need a striker because Cavani's not. They're not high enough rated though. So Adrissa Gay can go in there. That's 65 chemistry. Didn't I bring somebody else in? Didn't I bring Verratti in? I must have popped him back into the uh, into the club there. Uh, Verratti can come on in. Um, <clears throat> let's actually take out Sigurdsson then. Let's pop Verratti in there. Let's pop Adrissa Gay in there. And let's swap those two around like so. So that's up to 62 chemistry. We need an 85 rated. I've only got an 88 and 86, and then it's pretty low after that. So we might be struggling here to the point where I might need another couple of high rated cards. Maybe like a Jekko or something like that for, for up front. There's an 84. We've got, yeah, there's, there is Ed and Jekko. And then I want the Syria other striker, which I don't really think I have. Not that I can be bothered to use. Let's try the Spaniards here and see if that gives us any good ratings. More, more chemistry than anything as well. So that puts us to 69 chemistry, 83 rated. That's not bad. Let's have a look what we need for the final rating. So an 83 is not enough. An 84 is not enough. An 85 is not enough. Let's see if an 86 is going to be enough. Or is it going to have to be an 87? Um, what do we have? So an 87. An 87 is not actually enough. That is very surprising. That means it's going to have to be an 88. There we go. So another 88 is going to be uh, the requirement here. Let's pop him in there. There you go. That works perfectly. That gives us the 80 chemistry, the 85 rated with two English players. Right now, I'm not even... I don't even care to use two 88s. They're so cheap at the moment. 
And as I say, because of the two English players, it's going to be a ball ache to get that done uh, super, super cheap. So we'll submit that squad. We'll send that in. Oh, of course, there's an error with the game. Of course, there is. This this game just, it, it doesn't make sense sometimes. However, guys, if you're going to complete Theo Walcott, let me know in the comment section down below. I have a feeling that he is going to be a great card for the early stages of this year's cycle. I think next weekend league, he's going to be an absolute monster. Um, let's go to our SBCs here again. Hopefully it doesn't uh, crash this time. Uh, last time I did this, it was because of somebody on the bench. So let me get rid of the two players on the bench. That's what kept crashing it for me. I know Cavani's in my main squad, but... Yes, don't crash, don't crash. There we go, so it didn't crash. So that's the first part done. So yeah, Theo Walcott is there. Uh, with a sniper, he becomes a 90 rated right wing. That's pretty intense. What about with a maestro? 90 rated as well. Maybe a finisher as well. Finisher, an 86 striker. A dead eye makes him an 88 striker. Wow, that's a really good card with dead eye. With that pace as well, even a hawk could be the one. Get that 99 pace, that six shooting. This, this is, people at this card is just too good. Oh, wow. We're going to have to open some of those two player packs, guys, because the packs are at the back. Um, so that's uh, that's tough. So next up, we need an 83 rated squad with one team with a weak player. Uh, that should be relatively easy, to be fair. Let's just go to our special cards and see what we've got for our team of the week player. Let's use Gerard Moreno. Um, 84 rated team of the weeks. Now, maybe we'll have some value. Uh, and then let's go to the La Liga to get our the bulk of our team. Now, we only need an 83 rated squad here. Um, Fekir is just a bit too expensive. Uh, 83. Lamar also a bit too expensive. 82, 82. What I'll do is I'll just throw in all 82s and then I'll fill in the last position, whatever it may need to be, um, with the 84 or 85 that is going to be uh, needed to to finish this team. So I don't want to put Sergi Roberto in there either. Savage is okay. He's nice and cheap. Um, let's take Sergi Roberto out for David Soria. So we're already 81 rated here as well. Um, with 73 chemistry. And if I put De Jong up there for him, that's our chemistry done. I literally just need a, a rating. Now I only have 184. So yeah, that's not going to be enough. I basically just need to go and find whatever player it's going to be that's going to give us the uh the rating. Maybe it's an 80, is it an 86 going to work? An 86 works. Is an 85 going to work? Yes. Is an 84 going to work? No. So 85 Lopez can go in there. No problem at all. Um, nice and easy. Very easy to complete that one. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know what the price this is going to come in at. I can't imagine it's going to be like crazy expensive. If we look on Footbin so far, is the pricing in? The pricing's not in. Wow. This has got a load of dislikes again on Footbin. I think this is a good SBC. I don't think this is bad at all. Uh, and then last but not least, past and present. So this is why I wanted to save Pickford, because this is another 83 rated squad required. Uh, and we need one Leicester player, sorry, one Arsenal player, one Everton player, one Southampton player. Uh, so let's go and get the Arsenal player as well. Yeah, we can use Lucas Torreira. He's nice and cheap. He's like 2K. And then we need one Southampton player as well. And I don't think, uh, we don't have anyone there. Too expensive. What are you saying, Tobes? Um, then he can go in there and Torreira can go in there as well. And now again, we just need an 83 rated squad. We do need 70 chemistry as well. So let's see what we've got from the Premier League again. Hopefully something that I think would be worth using. Laporte wouldn't be too bad. As Piliquet is one of the nice and cheap 84s. Or at least he was last time I looked. And then we can... Chuck in all of these 83s that are dirt cheap. Sigurdsson, and Jorginho and Otamendi. Um, obviously, Sanchez and such will have to stay. Willian, no, Willian's mad expensive. I don't want to use him. He can go. Kovacic can go. Giroud can go. Uh, and let's go and get back that. Uh, even Rudiger now, I think, is uh, nice and cheap also. Keita and Jorginho. And let's see what we can do with this setup. So I am going to be quite low on uh, rating, but... We're going to be so good on chemistry that I can, again, just go for any any player out of any team from any league to finish this one off. So let's pop, uh, let's pop Ruben Neves out there. So that's already our chemistry done. Uh, Navi Keita will ignore. We'll pop Jorginho in there. 
that's only 79 let's now pop in uh we've got an 83 here yeah let's put Kasper schmeichel in there that's an 81 rated and then we just need to go and get i think probably another 85 will do it actually um let's have a look let's pop the uh swaps on have a look at an 85 here is an 84 gonna be enough oh an 84 is enough wow what about an 83 an 83 is enough too jesus i didn't think i had that high rated cards in here have a look at an 82 82 is not enough so we need one more 83 to pop in there and we'll pop in not Rao albiol we will put in sammy kadira is nice and cheap so they how, how how i've only got 184 in there i have got a fair few 83s to be fair and then the 179 so i suppose that's okay so there you go guys that is it done and like I say, if, is this going to crash again? No. Like I say, this Theo Walcott, I think, I don't know why this is getting so much hate. Maybe, maybe I'm missing something, but this card is absolutely perfect for the current meta of FIFA. And it's going to come in at about 120k. Uh, the England squad is coming in at 80k. The top form is coming in at 30k. And so past and present, maybe another 20 to 30k. So maybe 130 to 140k. Now, the prices of the players in general for SBCs, I think, have been a bit expensive. Um, but 140k for this Theo Walcott card, with those packs back, again, just because of, A, he's Premier League, and so he fits into people's squads. You know, the, one of the reasons why I didn't like Jose of Martinez SBC price is because you couldn't fit him into a squad. So the 100k that you had to pay for him, you were using him as a super sub. But with Theo Walcott, you're not. You're, you're, you, you're starting him, so you get that added benefit. Uh, on top of that, his stats are genuinely fantastic. Um, as I say, guys, I think for the price, let's go on to Futbin right here and uh, I'll show you guys what I mean. His pace is obviously already brilliant, right? Now, his physicals, his stamina isn't ideal, but he has medium, medium work rate, so it kind of counters that a lot. And this year specifically, again, last year, I'd look at the three-star, three-star and be like, oh, this is a bit overpriced. This year, because with three-star skill moves now, you can do... Uh, the Ronaldo chop and the ball roll chop. Um, I, and, and there's something else you could do with uh, the lateral heel to heel flick as well with three star skill moves. I think that this is a brilliant card. He's got great dribbling, decent composure, really nice agility and balance. His passing is also very, very good to the point where if you wanted to boost up his shooting, you give him a sniper. And as you can see, well, you can't really see because of my thing. He comes a 90 right wing, a 90 right forward, a 90 center forward, and an 87 striker. You can give him a finisher boost that and his physical i don't think that's necessarily smart a dead eye makes him a 91 center forward and a 90 rated cam which is crazy but then a maestro makes him a 90 center forward a 90 cam a 90 right forward and right wing with insane agility reactions dribbling and ball control or you could give him an engine if you wanted to as well and get that pace boost that really good dribbling boost i put i probably would go for a sniper that pace with that dribbling and 97 finishing guys I, honestly i think it's brilliant i'm i'm quite blown away the on foot bin this is got 82 percent dislikes which is nuts it's coming in at 130,000 coins I, I genuinely believe that's a bargain i think that's a great price for that card um i am again however sad that there's no season objectives towards this sort of stuff uh, so we get the small rare gold players pack for one of the segments with Theo Walcott, guys. It is going to be a border or a walkout. How good is it going to be? It's going to be a walkout for us, guys. It's a Spanish walkout. It's a centre mid. It's Thiago, isn't it? Oh, hey, man. It's better than nothing. An 87 rated card coming back into the club. Very nice. There could also be some other stuff in it. Oh, wow. There is Gonzalo Guedes. Uh, or Guedes. Uh, he's coming in at 8k. Rabio, uh, about 4k. Maybe 5k for Rabio, Pastore, uh, not really worth all that much at all. But yeah, nice, nice uh, pack there. And then to get to the other packs, guys, I've got too many two rare gold player packs, which are going to be saved up for my um, stream tonight. So I'll open a couple of these packs instead of the packs that I should be opening. Um, I don't want to open all the way down to 30 packs because I want to, I do want to save them for stream. So what we're we missing out on a rare Electrum players pack and a premium mixed players pack. So what we'll do is we'll open the four uh, of these two two rare gold player packs just to give you guys a little something there. And then I'll open the other ones on the stream a little bit later on tonight. Is that another border or walkout? No, it's not. Uh, and good luck with your packs, of course, guys. And and again, I, I, I'd i love to hear your opinions on this uh, Theo Walcott card. I, the card design itself as well, I think is sick. I think it's a really nice card design. I want to see what it looks like on the bench, actually, and, and in the team if the uh, particles are coming off the card in those areas as well. 
Uh, no board or walk out there either. So one more pack would open here, and then I want to just go and shove him onto um, shove him onto my uh, onto my bench right there. So let's discard those, and that's it's good news, guys. A flashbacks here, so hopefully we can get loads more flashbacks coming through thick and fast. Uh, so we get nothing out of those uh, two player packs, sadly. There, let's go and have a look at Theo Walcott on the uh, on the bench here. Um, squad, boom. I sadly got rid of uh, Idris again. Wow, look at all those contracts. Um, yeah, let's let's go and get Theo. Um, sort by special. Look at that. That looks good, man. I don't know. I don't know what you guys think. How does it look like in amongst other players? Okay, so the particles disappear when you're not on the card and only appear when you are on the card. And even on the on the team there on the actual game their their particles are there as well i like it man i like it a lot i think this card is really good i think the price is good i think it's a good value i, I don't think it's great value i think it's worth it though that's what i'd say um and that guy's going to be the end of the video so if you enjoyed it be sure to leave a like rating comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already but for now guys i'm out peace